We gotta. We gotta. We got a Wind Waker stream here. Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. It's time. Uh, there are new emotes. We got blue ro bloopy, and we got um, waste rupee. Is my mic still crusting? I should be less crusted now. Like scum crusted? No. Okay, we're good. Call turtle. Uh, we're t is turtle crying? Okay, so we did this. Um, yeah, now we're just gonna continue doing stuff. Oh. Uh, so we're, we'll do stuff in Wind Waker and then stuff in Cyberpunk. And then we'll get the number one victory royale. I, you know, sometimes I just think to myself, I, I really hope it, I ho really hope nothing bad happened at Tomato Town. Um, you know, and then I find out, God, Tomato Town was a real tragedy. Oh, uh, I have to check my map here, hang on. So I have options of where I could go. I just clicked off of a thing by accident. I didn't mean to. Oh fuck, how do you... It's the, the beetle sh I think I just clicked the beetle shop 20 rupee item. God damn it. I really have to be careful about that, because... That's how I lose things on the map. You can't right click, click, click. Now you have to get the coupon. Uh, how do you get the coupon? The Beatful coupon? F11 to show all locations. Yeah, but I just want to get it back. Like, I don't want it to be gone. It's gone. Buy lots of shit, you will get the coupon. Okay. Alright, so, uh, I'll, I'll need chat to remind me. That's the one function of emo tracker. If you accidentally click off of a thing, it just... You know, it's just gone. Maybe someone knows a hotkey or something, but I don't. Great Fish Island is a good start. Okay, so we gotta find Great Fish Island. That's Great Fish Island right there. We're gonna go right there now. We're gonna head there. Like this. There's also a platform uh, dead ahead. Hey Vinny, I just got a record player. What vinyl should I buy? Oh, you should get, um... Vinny, can we get a more reasonable pulp? You should get Pulp. That's a good band. Uh, you should get... Another Light by Red Vox. No, uh, you should probably get what music you like. Like, what bands, what artists do you like? Get Stevie Wonder. Songs in the Key of Life. I was listening to that again today. And that is a phenomenal album. Steely Dan is essential, says a chat member. I, you know, I, I, I can't agree as much because I, I don't have a yacht. Uh, I like Steely Dan. I find them to be good. 
but I don't, um, I don't have the required materials to love Steely Dan. I never was able to. I tried. Maybe one day. Maybe one day they'll click for me. But I just got, uh, into The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway by Genesis. And they Genesis because I know some of the Peter, uh, Peter Gabriel Genesis. And I like it. But, man, what an awesome fucking album that is. Petal... Petal Gabriel. Beetle Gabriel, who sells you things on the sea of Wind Waker. Oh, nice. Oh, fuck. Was that a progressive bomb bag? It, it was. Great. Favorite Pixies album? Uh... Probably Doolittle. I don't even have it. <laughs> like, I, I don't even have it. So I need the regular bomb bag first. Great. Okay. Now I can click off that. Why is the broadcast view not reflecting my map choices? What's going on here? Is this thing pulped? Let me try something. It's having some issues. I had a crash earlier, so I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Ha ha ha. Yeah, the NVIDIA, uh, uh, drivers crashed again. So that's cool. Not now, like they did before I started streaming. So that's fun. Uh, let me just see if I can load this. You, you can go to sleep, Tingle. It's fine. No one wants you awake anyway. Get down! I wanted to get the, the banner at the bottom perfect, but there are baked in um, gaps and it's hard to get rid of them, so I gave up. Okay, let's see if, if this does it. So, Beetle is still here. Yep, this is good. This works. So, we're going to do progressive bomb, but that's so fucking weird. Like, huh. So I have the bomb bag for 60 bombs, but I can't use bombs yet. Are you into David Gilmore's solo stuff? Yes, his first album is still my favorite. And then On an Island is great as well. Uh, we'll have plenty of time to bullshit while I'm on the Great Sea. But yeah, I guess, um, in terms of, of Genesis, that's a fantastic album, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. I was just, song after song, I was like, oh, okay, no, this is a lot more listenable than I thought it was. Because I think I tried to approach it years ago, but only heard a couple songs out of order, because it was harder to listen to music at a certain point. 
and Spotify and YouTube has made it very easy to listen to music. Whereas, like, I could only maybe get a couple songs and albums were a little harder to get. But, um, yeah, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway is a double album and it is... It's massive. It's massive. And listening to it all the way through is a fucking good experience. So that is an album I'd recommend on vinyl, perhaps. Um, usually anything Jack White sounds good because they Third Man Records does their own vinyl pressings. So I'm a fan of his stuff. Can I buy this? I don't have an empty bottle. Why did the music? Huh? What's that? Or not music, the sound effects. They just went away. Well, Great Fish Island, so there's the beetle one, which we can't get. And then there's a hidden chest on the island itself. I don't know how to get up there. Uh. You need the deco leaf from. Yes, about that. But what? What do I do with it? Oh, you need to deco leaf from the island. I see. Well, that's a hell of a journey. I mean, Tingle's used to it. Balloons and all that. Vinny, we saw Todd on the boat. What do you mean you saw Todd on the boat? Like Todd Howard or Toad? By Skyrim. Huh. Todd? <laughs> I can't believe he's advertising in Wind Waker now. If anyone knows how to do it, it's it's Todd Howard, I I guess. Borak. Drink of water from the Great Haven. Yeah, I don't even have a bottle yet, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. And the treasure chest is... No. Wow. Piano. Wow. Skyrim is closer to the release of Wind Waker than we are to Skyrim. It's true. Ten year anniversary of Skyrim coming up. And I will do a stream of it at the end of the year. Some Something Skyrim related, even if it's just like a little revisit with mods. I... I think it did a really good job of being a buggy mess. But also, as an open-world game, it's still pretty compelling in its own way. Like, I revisited that game 
as many of you are aware. And on the Switch, which was not a great version of it, it was just okay. And I kind of got pulled into it. Like, regardless of the glitches, I got pulled into it pretty hard. It's a good... It's a good game when it's good. I just the combat is kind of lazy. Oh, Triforce chart. All right, it's good. The combat, not lazy. It, they, you know, it's just kind of there. Combat. Its influence on open world games these last 10 years is hard to qualify. In some ways, still not topped. In some ways. In other ways, Skyrim has become meme like look at these NPCs with their cold dead eyes but I think you know you go sneaky archer you can enjoy a lot of the storylines in that game and really get into the world I like the music I like the the atmosphere of the world I I think Skyrim is not as hype as it was and I, I'm sorry for using that word forgive me as it was when it first came out Yet, I also kind of was a little hard on it for years. And now I've come around to it after my stream of it, where I remember it a little bit more fondly. And I'm like, oh man, Skyrim was, was kind of cool. And I still didn't even do all the quests. Like, I didn't do a number of, of side quests that are just, like, full and have tons of, like, you know, storylines and things that you can do. So there's there's a lot of stuff that I missed in that game entirely. A lot of glitches that I never saw. So we got a Triforce chart, which is very good. Alright, so we're gonna click off Great Fish. What's this on? Um, Western Ferry Platform. Let's go there. Neryl did a very good video about Star Fox Zero. Not that anyone needs another video about the Wii U and Star Fox Zero, but that's exactly what the video was. And it raised some interesting arguments that I've seen presented in other ways, but Neryl makes good videos. And I thought Star Fox Zero got better the more I played it. But watching Neryl's video, I also thought to myself, Man, this game really, just from the beginning, they tried to fit all this gameplay and this whole entire concept into the box of the Wii U controller. And it's a shame. I wonder what that would have been like if, if it wasn't the case. Oh well. One day maybe we'll get another Star Fox game. I can dream. That's going to be a game that doesn't come to the, uh... ...to the Switch, because it's so incredibly in integrated into the Wii U. Unless they, like, do an overhaul. Starlink is kind of fun, but requires those dumbass toys. No. Starlink was on sale for cheap, and you can, like, play it with the Star Fox characters, and you don't need a single toy. I played it with a zero toy. Um, so there's supposedly an item... It's the... There's a platform. Chad, do you see a platform? Oh, there it is, there it is. The digital version comes with all the ships anyway. That's the one I had. And I just used the R-Wing mostly. But... It was okay. Again, I got like a good 10 hours out of that game. And it had the same Ubisoft... Glitz. And schmaltz. And, you know, the open world stuff. And the repetition. It was okay.
the writing. Uh. So, also, Red Letter Media did a video about Star Trek The Next Generation <laughs> again. <laughs> That's what, the fifth video? Hey, it makes them happy. I'm happy they're, they're talking about it. That makes me happy, too. But they did a season one episode. Hour and 20 minutes. Which... That's a lot of edited discussion about season one. Just a treasure chart. Okay, no problem. Well, while we're sailing, I'd like to... Someone in chat said, what did you think of season one? I have only watched season one one time. I've seen a couple of the episodes, like, twice. I have avoided season one of TNG because it, it's pretty rough. The episodes they like, I don't even remember. Except the Binar episode, which is actually kind of cool. I like that one. I, I like... Um, the conspiracy episode because of how campy it is. They didn't like it, but I like it. Uh, I like that the dude's head explodes. But mostly, yeah, I think season one is, is kind of a miss overall, and it just looks cheap, and, and I'm not a fan. But... I usually, when I go back and rewatch, I start at season two and watch most of season two. So, uh. Someone said, I just started watching TNG for the first time and thought, why does Vinny love this show? Yeah, you should watch that review because they're like. Rich Evans is like, I don't want to recommend Star Trek to people because if they start at season one, as you would normally do, you might hate it. Just start at season three. May as well. So there's um, a fairy girl here, it says. It says, creepy little fairy, creepy little girl fairy. What is this? What does that mean? She's in... where? You need the pearls? I have two of them. Replaced with the chest. Oh... Let's see. I understand. Well, I checked that off. She's dead, Luigi. There's no bringing her back now. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Did I do barrel shooting? No, right? Set progression items to mini games. If not, skip the games. Oh, uh, default. Whatever the default is. You said you didn't. You said in the first stream you didn't. I mean, there could be. You know, Chad, there could be a heart. I had to get that on screen for at least five seconds. I was told to do that. Ah! 
blink twice if Todd is holding you hostage. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, chat, I, I have um, some exciting news. I have more scummy cards. And I will have more. Not Pokemon cards. Scummy cards. Weird ones. There's a card vending machine in a supermarket near me. I'm not kidding. And I spent like six bucks and got more scummy card packs. Including Alien 3. And I have a couple chat members sending me some, including... Many packs of the 1989 Nintendo cards. With tips, tricks, and scratch-off puzzles. And stuff like that. So there will be another card opening, and I believe Jackal is sending me some scummy cards as well. So... I don't care what cards it is, I just need my fix. My card fix. You got it, shrimp. He doesn't go sploosh. Angles end in a five or a zero. That's helpful. Just barely see it. The rain is not helping. Now, is that 50 degrees, chat, or is that more or less? Chat said 45. I was thinking it was 50. Oh, it got it. Too bad. Yo, fuck you. No, I got it. It blew up. It blew up after. What? Oh. Scammed. It blows up when the minigame is over, says chat member. Oh. Never mind. So, it was 50 degrees. That's 45 degrees. Okay, just got a yellow rupee worth 10 rupees for spending 100 rupees. We have an emote for that now. Come back when you're a little richer. There should be another um, prize for this. Little mmm.
Yeah, the, the five zero trick is absolutely incredible. I had no idea about this. Or maybe I did at some point, but God, it's so good. I could accidentally kill that fish. I want to be careful. So I should be able to get one. Oh man, what a what a mess. Joy. There's a platform at Star Island. It's not on Star Island, apparently. It's this platform. Jesus. Oh man, and the boat is so fucking fast. Look how far it goes. Look how... look how... voice it cracks. You can give the... joy pendants to the teacher for items. How many? You need the spoils bag first. Yeah, Tingle is basically storing these things in his dingle until I get the the bag. Oh, eat dick. What about the statues? Well, I have four. I need five. We just need, like, a pear emote, a joy pendant emote. You know, we just need all of the emote, uh, possible. You should check the beetle shop one square north of Greatfish. It doesn't say there's a beetle shop there on the map. Star Island has a cave. It doesn't have a, um... The map is not showing. Maybe I can't get in there yet? Chat member, why are you asking me about existential dread? I'm trying to have the fun, funny, haha's video game. It's blocked by rocks that you can lift. Wait, really? The answer to how I fight existential dread is to... Um, ...play baby games from my childhood. ...with an audience.
existential bread, I don't buy it. I just don't believe it exists, I mean. However, sometimes I just take a Tums, and I'm gonna take... Uh, I'm gonna take one now, because I'll be honest, I had a microwavable dinner tonight of Swedish meatball, and it was not good. It tasted fine. I was just in a rush. I had a studio day, day today, and I was just, like, busy as fuck, and I just... You know what? I was like... I don't really have time. So, here's this thing I bought. Let me put this in the microwave. Mistake! Wow. Decimated. Do you like microwave lasagna? I mean... I, no. I usually try not to eat too much microwavable shit, but... It's good in a pinch, and, like, Trader Joe's and Costco has decent stuff. But my, um, you know, the problem is, I just, I feel it. Like, I could just feel it right now. Stouffer's mac and cheese is really good with fried chicken. Oh yeah, no, I've had good microwavable mac and cheese. That stuff is usually fine. Like, again, Trader Joe's. Like, I'm not trying to chill for them because I've had some bad stuff from them too, but their microwavable section, surprisingly good. They have pepperoni pizza um, mac and cheese. Again, not good for you. <laughs> Very much no, but tasty, and it works in a pinch. Have you seen How To with John Wilson? I have, yeah, I, I raved about it uh, on stream not that long ago. It's... It's amazing. So what do I do now, chat? The Moblin fell through the floor. <laughs> Cyberpunk moment, says Chapman. That Moblin joined, or Bokoblin, or whatever these are, uh, joined the Shrimp Lady. Under the world. Don't fall through the floor this time. Also, what is on Tingle's back? It's like a snake? 
Why do, why does Tingle wear a snake on his uniform? Boblins? I believe it's pronounced Bokoblin, but I'll, I'll accept Boblin. Jeopardy would, too. These are the moblins of the game. Okay, weirdly enough, this isn't even listed on my map. So, I don't know what to expect from this one. So, that counts as, um, so here's what I have. Combat secret caves. I have, um, expensive purchases now. Big octos and gunboats. Uh, sub, submarines. Didn't I do the submarine? How many submarines are there? There's like five? Oh. Hmm. Should have clicked all this before. I had to like, set the parameters. Okay. Horseshoe Island, three Mothulas play golf. We did play golf. Three Mothulas? No. Well, at this point, the map is so open, I'll take suggestions if anyone has any. Go to Penn Island, lose the shorts. Okay, thank you, chat members. That's very helpful. The Forsaken Fortress. Can I even do that? There are plenty of treasure chests there. It's orange, though. You need bombs and skull hammer. Forest Haven we can do, yeah. That's... Do that. Northern Fairy Submarine Treasure Chest. Northern Fairy Island Great Fairy. Well, we're going west. We're going out west where the wind blows high! Oh, sorry, tall. I just had, like, um... That indigestion just hit me on that one word. Who used to date his ma in that... In that, uh, song? Tommy Faciosi? Tony Faciosi, he goes, Tony Faciosi used to date my ma. Tommy Capusi. All right, thanks. It's a song from Tom Waits called Going Out West. Check it out yourself, chat. It's a good song.
These long weapons are very, like, environment dependent. He doesn't know what a spear is. Why <laughs> these long pointy weapons, the pointed sticks? Remember, for years, I thought the word hal halberd was halberd. My mind saw the wrong letters. Has that happened to anyone else? Oh, fuck. Not for that specific word, but do you ever, like, you know, see a word? But it, it wasn't the word you thought it was. That's called dyslexia. Well, yeah. But for those that don't specifically have that, I'm wondering, have you ever, like, gone through your whole life? Like, my friend thought Todd McFarlane was McFinley. Now, I know that's that's also when we were in, like, eighth grade. So, clearly, he just gave up on reading that word. Like, he didn't even care. Um... And for years, I was like, you know, that's not his name. He goes, no, nah, I, I know. I just like calling him Mick Finley. Whoa! It's not the Mandela effect. It's just that you specifically as a person read a word wrong the first couple times. And then you just said like halberd your whole life. It's a dumb bit. I'm just curious if it happened to anyone else, that's all. So what are those words? Everyone said- well, many people are saying yes, but they're not telling me the words. Rayquaza? Ominous? Geometry. Mandatory or mandatory. Albuquerque. Magenta versus... What was the other one? Magenta versus Magneta. What, like Magneto? Turret? Oh, I've heard a lot of people call it Turrent. Data versus data. Well, that's different. Need a good item. He stole me. Weird banana fairy. <laughs> Another sweaty, disgusting tingle statue. Well, that's five, so now we can go to 
Tingle Island and get the reward. It's just south from here. So we have to collect t uh, five separate things to get this one reward. Hopefully it will be worth it. Do you say lieutenant or lieutenant? Uh, lieutenant is how I grew up hearing it. Like, I think it's more of an American thing, and I think maybe more British is lieutenant. Yeah, lieutenant is a real pronunciation of that word. It's like colonial and colonel. That's a regional thing? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what region. Maybe Albany? I mean, you can't really miss Tingle Island. It is the dong that penetrates the sky. Until the Tower of the Gods appears. Yeah, and then you find out Tingle's not the one with the... girthiest tower. Well, I guess this is Pen- Pen Island? Here's the smelly statues. Salty, smelly, gross fucking statues. Tingle? Meet Tingle. Yet again. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid. Show me, show me. Would you like me to decipher it for you? Oh, you fuck. I mean, it's a Triforce chart. It needed to get done sooner or later. So where's my reward? Thank you for the gift. I know Tingle statues are quite hard to come by. It's not much, but please take this. Scam. Fucking scam! Oh, wait a minute! Not a scam! Not a scam at all! Hookshot! Wow. No, 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 no. You had to be a hook shot, baby. Best tingle is this tingle. Decipher the other chart. I don't really need to right now, though, because I'm going to get more Triforce charts. And I still have to do the, um, auction, or not auction, there's another thing I have to buy. But you know what? No, I will. I will because rupees eventually max out, and I don't want to max out on rupees.
I don't want to have to come back when I'm a little, mmm. So there's uncle. There's ankle. There's pinkle. Tingle. Stinkle. And then there's David Jr. Wrinkle? Wrinkle's a good... Beatles Special Shop. Now, I can't afford Beatles Special sh uh, Shop, so we're not going there. No, 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 no. That would be a big shot. Should we do the, um, Forest Haven? Let's do it. Island in the top right corner. That's the combat trial. Seven star platforms is kill whiz robes, kill ranged whiz robes. Ro robus. Uh, can I do that? Get bow first. Well, it's green. You need boomerang for forbidden forest. Well, you heard the chat member. So we're not ready for, um, the dungeon yet. Unless Boomerang spawns in the forest. That is possible, but I don't know if I want to take that risk. Outset Island, Underling's House, this is House Great Fairy. So the, we, uh, can we do Great Fairy now? Yeah, we can. And then we can go to, um... Did you get the Deku Tree item? No. Let's do that now while we're here. Are you excited? Are you excited for spring? I'm excited. I, uh... Yeah, I, I instantly get a mood boost when the weather's nicer. I just miss, like, um... Going for walks and stuff. And also, the, uh... The fucking daylight savings... Giving us more daylight has been actually it's always good but it's especially good now I mean big time wants us to change our clocks and all that but it's just nice to have an extra hour of daylight someone said I don't like it I hate it a lot of people not surprised you do you chat Someone said, I hate losing an hour of sleep. But do you, though? Well, I mean, I guess it depends on how you sleep, right? Because I, you know, just go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time, but now I have an extra hour of daylight. Yeah, but aren't your things moved an hour later, chat? Like, when I worked at, like, various jobs, including a bank... When daylight savings happened, I'd still have to go in at 9. And 9 was, like, the same time... A 
are we what are we talking about here chat are we, are we like nine was literally moved an hour right but then you set your clock so that nine is the same nine Like, I'd still go in 9 the week before Daylight Savings, and then 9 the week after Daylight Savings. It would still be 9 a.m. Your version of Windows 10 will soon reach the end of service. Restart to install a newer version. That's not how it works. Okay, so I guess my, my schedule when I worked at those jobs then just switched to 10. And, and I'm not... I'm, <laughs> like, did that not happen? Then you're going in earlier, though. Yes. But you get an extra hour of daylight before the sun goes down. They still called it nine. Like, they didn't just suddenly move it up. But it was eight. New bit, please. I, I just don't understand how many people are confused about this concept. Vinny's doing this on purpose. Yeah, I am, because this is what happened in my life. This is a real non-bit thing that happened in my life. So, if chat wants to implode, they can. <laughs> uh, so what what do I have to do to get the item? When you say that you went to work at the same time, do you mean the same number? Yes, the same number. At 2 a.m. on Daylight Savings, your clock jumps forward to 3 a.m., so you sleep one less hour. I'm talking about, like, for the next six months. I'm not talking about the one day. Oh, whatever. I, I you, you know what, chat? We need to find some kind of... Vinny, but you were. I said Daylight Savings. You were talking about the one day. I wasn't. I... You think... You think I was talking about just one day of work? I was saying... I was... I, now I'm confused. Now you confused me, chat. Listen, I need to... Let me say this. Right? Because chat is mental right now. So let me just get this out, and then we can move on. Okay, the one day you lose an hour of sleep. I... That's true. Okay. Fair. I ended up ending my stream really late that day. I'm saying I like that there's extra daylight now that the daylight savings day has come upon us and that when I leave the studio sometimes or like when I'm like doing stuff at 7 p.m. there's still daylight. I like that because I like daylight. It makes me feel good. Like Boston. That said, I'm not really a big fan of the, the whole switching clocks at all. But it's just annoying. I wish they would keep it consistent. Um, but big time, you know how it is. Seeds from the flower monsters of Forbidden Woods. Do you know about those seeds? Mm. Vinny, it's called a time-honored tradition. You are correct. 
So, um, all right, now that chat is a little bit more. You want to climb the Deku Babas. So I can't get, uh, the Shreku tree won't give me an item unless I climb. Okay, now when I climb, is this daylight savings climb or no? That wasn't funny, don't laugh. supposed to be able to do that this without the leaf huh the leaf will be a good backup right this is how you get the leaf I understand okay it's been a while Silver rupee. <laughs> Fuck you. <sighs> I mean, I still need rupees, so... Might as well go to the forest now. Yeah, you're probably right. There's a free chest in the dungeon. Yeah, I'm gonna need the boomerang, but maybe the boomerang is in the forest. Vinny, that's not the way to the dungeon. Is that the way to a free treasure chest, though? Oh, that's... I know what that is. That's trophies. Uh -huh. Or picto box stuff, yeah. can kill the flower locks in the forest dungeon with the hook shot. Okay. My favorite thing about this game is if you go to how long to beat and you look at the completion times, the average completion is totally, like, modest. But because of that pictograph quest or pictobox quest, the completionist time is like 150 hours. Hang on, Wind Waker how long to beat. Usually, like, when you go to how long to beat, it's like, oh, there's a couple hour difference. So... Okay, yeah, completion is... So, um, main story, average, 28 hours. Median, about 30 hours. Completionists, about 60 to 82 hours. So I was a little bit... I overestimated a bit, but it's just kind of crazy how much time... I mean, it's not just because of that, but it's... a lot of it is that. It's a very long quest. Very involved. Someone said that's not 100. I know, I corrected myself, chat member. I'm gonna run out of magic, aren't I?
Who am I kidding? Stores never run out of magic, only Pokemon cards. That's your cue, chat. Now you say addict, and we all have a good jape. We have a good laugh. see how much I can do. Oh, there's one free treasure chest. Wow, that actually does work. Hmm. Oh no, Tingle! That's all right. He, he likes it. Man, sequence breaking this dungeon is fantastic. It's a fill up coupon. It will fill every item you have to the max. Give it to Beetle. But remember, it doesn't cover all of his products. The hell? Is that even listed? Like, I don't even see it on the tracker. Get bombs with it? I can't. I, I can't use bombs until I get the bomb bag. In the original game, you only get that for buying 50 items from Beetle. at the top of that room. Could 
Could be the boomerang. Could be the fucking master sword. Okay, it's a key. One key. This one. Puzzles. Huh? Puzzles. Do we need them? What are they good for? shoot behind you. Oh, right, right. These enemies become quite a bit easier with the hook shot. I mean, we might be able to... We can probably beat the boss, but not get... Well, no, I need the boomerang. Can the hookshot do that? I don't think the hookshot can do what you need to do to defeat this boss. Almost positive you can't. Yeah, multi- you need multi-track drifting. This is just big nut. I'll be hoarding my food for winter soon.
Well, again, at least that's happening. That's that's making this dungeon a fair bit easier. God damn. The fucking move. The sound effect it makes is so satisfying. Better than rupees. Yeah, there's the boss. Why not try it? I'm pretty sure it's it's a confirmed cannot happen. Chat is saying it's a soft lock. Use hot spring water too. Well, I don't have a bottle. I have the hook shot. <laughs> Still need the boomerang to open the boss up. Next time you get need to get to the dungeon, you could skip the Great Deku Chi by by using the air gust. The Deku Chi burger. But yeah, good to know. Um Is that it then? Is that the amount of progress I can make? Oh wait. No. I can make a little bit more progress. There are six treasure chests left. Hopefully I can get most of them without the boomerang. Treasure chest that has the boomerang normally has the boomerang in this. It, it would be just like Tingle starting on Tingle Island. I've been watching this, um, like... I like to have a variety of YouTube videos for when I do random stuff, or take a nap. Or sometimes just to listen to. And, uh, there's this dude who wears a bow tie and covers everything James Bond. Like, he's probably younger than me. I don't know the name of the channel, but, like, he reviews the movies, the games, uh... Calvin? Is that him? Yeah, Calvin Dyson. <laughs> He's pretty good. He recently reviewed the uh, World Is Not Enough video game. Nice. If it isn't here, you need to save and quit. Oh, right, right, right. Oh. 
No, but I got the bow. Not going to complain about that. If only I had that gyro aiming. God. It's the other item I could have gotten that wouldn't have soft locked me. I've managed to avoid a soft lock. Try cutting the vines with the arrows. Can you do that? Why do people think controller aiming is hard? Says a chat member. It depends on the game. Like, the, the movement required here is, like, very minimal amounts of pressure. You have to kind of get used to it. It takes some time. But it is doable. Because it's not precise and you need to snap to target to compensate. I mean, gyro aiming is a godsend. Because you could do big adjustments with the stick and then little ones with the gyro. And it, it really improved the fuck out of every 3D Zelda remake they did. But there were times in my life where I was decent, you know, aiming with the stick. Vinny, chest at the top of this room. Gyro in Monster Hunter Rise has been a godsend. Been playing so much heavy bow gun and it's a blast. Very excited for Monster Hunter Rise. What am I doing wrong here? Grapple again. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I didn't see that. Is this your favorite Zelda game? No, it's not. Treasure chart. It's up there, but it's not my favorite. Link to the Past is still my favorite. I, I kinda... A lot of that has to do with nostalgia. I'll be the first to admit. Yet... I still feel like it's... one of the most accessible and fun Zelda games to play, regardless of whether or not it is the most, um, I don't know, most good. Like, the formula has definitely done interesting things since then, but Link to the Past is still my favorite. I can't really describe why, it's, it's very difficult, as you can tell. Well, it's not just nostalgia. No, I mean, aside from the nostalgia, it's also a great game. And I couldn't articulate particularly well why I think it's such a great game in the face of other games like Wind Waker. And, I mean, 
you know, you can almost divide the Zelda games into subcategories, 3D and 2D. I think Link Between Worlds is great too, but just Link to the Past feels much more... I just, I like the, the way it plays, I like all the, the dungeons, I like the music. I think it's a phenomenal game to this very day. Favorite 3D Zelda game. Pretty sure I put Ocarina and Majora like tied with each other. Like I, I made a top 100 games list. I mean, we've we've done this so many times. I've talked about it a lot on stream, but the truth is, it's kind of hard to pick because every day, every week, every year the list changes. It's fun to do the list. But in terms of 3D Zelda, I kind of like Majora maybe the best. Maybe that inches out Ocarina by like a tiny bit. I don't know, I just love it. I love how weird it is, I like how dark it is, I like the, the mask system, I like the interpersonal storyline with all the characters that you get to learn about in their final moments. There's just something about Majora. It has some flaws, but I'm willing to overlook them because the game is so cool. It's one of those games that, as a kid, it stuck with me long after I stopped playing it. And Ocarina has a lot of subtle... despair. There's a lot of subtext in Ocarina that I didn't notice when I was younger. But Majora really just has this, I don't know, this haunting feeling to it. I love it. Subtle is a Pokemon, right? Whoa! Whoa, the Master Sword! Fucking good. Nice. It was just in a random treasure chest in the fucking forbidden jungle of- of the forest. Or whatever this place is called again. The arrow- bow and arrow was in here? The fucking master sword? What a fantastic... feast of randomization. Kind of like Breath of the Wild. I mean, you could almost tie this into lore. Like, maybe this was the Lost Woods at one point. But yeah, Tingle has the actual Master Sword. Trash. You know what that was? That was me getting another Dreadnought card. That was- uh, that was a coughing. Fifth Cramorant. So does anyone here work at Target? <laughs> I've ceased. I've ceased. I'm all about scummy cards now. I don't- I- I just want the worst possible scummiest oldest cards I can find. Someone said I work at Tops. If you work at Tops, can you let me know if you have scummy cards? 
like anything in the warehouse? Like if, if this is real and not japes, do you have like anything from like the 90s, 80s? Just like weird fucking card packs that I can purchase? Vinny, chest in pit. Not in this room, right? Previous room. Well, I enjoyed opening them on stream, and chat seemed to enjoy me opening scummy card packs. Okay, it's the compass. I, I suppose we should have expected that. It's just like one more room. And the boss, yeah. Were there any side effects of eating that 30-year-old gum? I, I didn't have enough of it to find out. Is boomerang the only way to do this, for real? You need to do it quickly. It's possible without. I don't have the super spin. You can do it with the bow? It, the bow wasn't working, mate. Possible, but hard. I only have like... 10 arrows left here anyway. Start with the spin attack. Yeah, at this, I don't think the spin attack. Well, let's see. Thought maybe I could get two with the spin attack, but it's not working that way. says to do tilt the stick to do a swipe instead of a stab <laughs> then that happens all right it was worth a shot
Um, can I just save and quit to go back to the entrance? Still really good dungeon. Warp jar is close. I think I unlocked the first warp jar, actually. It, it is by default? Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so there's a lot more we can do now. Just need to find out where. Go to Dragon Roost and shoot the bomb flower chest on the wall. Did you know that the actor of Tingle also voices Ganondorf in Smash, Brawl to Ultimate, and in Twilight Princess? Tingle is Ganon? Fuck. Talented, uh, voice actor. Fernando himself? Hmm. I think my boat is over there anyway. Check, can you get soft locked by these randomizers? I'm stuck. It depends, but I think they try to prevent that from happening. The logic within most of the randomizers I've played was in place to prevent too many soft locks, if any. I mean, uh, Link to the Past. Some of it may be difficult, and some of it may require a scummy trick or two, but I've never been totally locked out, I don't think. People are saying that they've been soft locked on some occasions. Symphony of the Night randomizer? Um, uh, maybe. Okay, we're good. One second, chat. No, no, no. Chat is not getting mass banned. You're good. Do you want to buy some Skyrim? Get 500 rupees, go back to Rockspire shop for progression item. Okay, I'll just get 500 rupees. 
Vinny, you were right about daylight savings. Please don't ban. Okay. Cyclos. I'm just looking around. Uh, Great Fish Island has... There's an island east of Forest Haven with mini dungeon you can do. Let's see. Cliff Plateau Islands and Cliff Plateau Platform. Yep, we can do that. Can't you kill squids now? I think I can, but I only have ten arrows. Nine arrows. You need the boomerang or bombs for big squid. Whoa! Ah, oh, tingle, you dingle. Any random question? Have you ever been on a cruise? That is a very random question. Uh, no. There's, uh, that dude who does ordinary things videos talked about the cruise industry. And then I watched that video of the cruise ship that crashed. And I gotta be honest, I think I'm good on cruises. I think... I think I'll hold off on a cruise for a couple decades of my life. Yeah, the Concordia. But no, even regardless of the specifics of the Concordia, it's just never been an appealing thing for me. Like, I get antsy. I don't think I could spend an entire week on a boat. Maybe. I mean, it's like a hotel, I suppose, but... Oh, thank you. Um... But it's... it's just never been... I never thought to myself, boy, a cruise would be fantastic. I think I'd rather go to a place then go on a cruise. It's a hotel, but you can't leave. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, please. There is a Star Trek cruise, though. I'm not kidding. They do, like, a boat. Um, and you can, like, hang out and do karaoke with the actors. That is a real thing. Yep. Sounds cring. Um, I think it is a little bit. Yeah, I... Like, it might be. But they do, like, uh, panels and, you know, William Shatner does stand up. <laughs> or sit down, as it may be. So, I don't think it's almost time to restart. Fuck you, Windows. Can- can you st Oops. I guess I have to do the update. How do I... open that? on fire. Treasure chart 20. I'm just kind of surprised you can do that.
Okay, so that's that, and then there's also this one. Oh my god! That's a really good find. Stream luck. Fire and ice islands. Yeah, we can do a lot of stuff. Oh, right. What am I doing? Why have I done this? I was like, oh, another hole. Clearly it's a different one. There's one more thing here. There's a platform. Vinny, you could have just stepped back into the light. Really? Could I have? Could I have? Oh. Have to leave the platform for it to show up. Oh, okay, no wonder. Oh my God. Well, this is another thing I can do. I can fight whiz robes a little bit more accurately. I need more arrows, but. Another Triforce chart. Just when you thought the luck was over. Wait, how do you do the switch? Oh, R. Oh god, oh god. God. Oh, man. Oh, God. I didn't even need to do that. Remember to open the charts. Okay. Well, these are the ones that we have identified. Uh, anything else, I think Tingle needs to, you know, take care of. I, I, I being Tingle, am not the right Tingle. Before you open the chart, get the rock spire item for 15 rupees left. Oh. Well, where's, um, where's rock spire? Let's see. Okay, it's there. So, I'm gonna go to Great Fish. Let's 
Still no delivery bag, no. Watch Zelda give you the delivery bag instead of the light arrows. Yeah, probably. The most mundane item possible. Uh, well, there's some rupees here. Map says there's a chest here in Fish Island. Yeah, let's see. It's the shop. Too many keys. Well, I got the treasure chest here already. I did that really early on in the stream. Don't be lazy. Change the wind. That's my advice for you, chat. <laughs> When's the Wind Waker update for Valheim? That's what I want to know. Gotta be like 15, three more rupees between here and Rockspire Island, right? I'll take it. Yeah, it's just Beetle Ship. Will there be an Animal Crossing update for the 20th anniversary? I don't know if there will be an update, but there will be a stream. Oh, the 20th anniversary of Animal Crossing. I thought you meant on the 20th of March, which is the one-year release anniversary of New Horizons, which I will stream. Command Melody. That's his last command melody. Magic armor. Well, I don't need this. Treasure chart 31. Definitely don't need that. However, magic armor? That could be cool. Magic armor sucks. Oh yeah, it does suck in this game, doesn't it? 
Bye. That might be one of those things that I get much, much later on. Just before I attack Ganon. Just as like a health buffer. It's only good in the Wii U remake. Gotcha. fight the tornado frog now with arrows. Well, I'm actually going to take a quick break. Um, this is like the two hour mark, which is usually the amount I go for. Um, resume this in a couple days. I just wanted to come up here and get some he um, health. Some hearts. And, incidentally, another treasure chest. Which one is this? This is, um... Destroy both cannon sets for more treasure chests, so I'm not gonna click this off yet. But, here we go, last treasure chest. What will it be? It's another hundred rupees. Alright. I can't complain about that. You actually need the rupees in this game. Well, thanks for watching. This was a very eventful stream. We got the Master Sword. We got a bow and arrow with ice and fire. We got, um... Command Melody, I guess? Some Triforce stuff. Lots of good stuff. Still need bombs. Still missing some very simple, basic things. I did get the hook shot though. But the whole world is open to us, so there's- there's so many opportunities to find more items and progression stuff. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna take a break. Uh, bingo with Cyberpunk up next. So, thank you for watching. Even in randomized mode, this game is just a joy to revisit. Okay, chat, if you want, stick around. Let me just save this thing. And we'll do a BRB, and I will return with Cyberpunk. Janky Cyberpunk and Bingo. Can't believe I'm still playing this game, I say, every week. <laughs>